what up welcome back to another video guys guys we have some legends right here behind us big sex over here you're in the camera too man <laughs> we got legend. jeff who needs no introduction <laughs> and carrie also who needs an introduction so carrie uh, for those of you who don't know you <laughs> who are you you are a, a professional rider i'm a washed up dirt bike rider <laughs> who now tinkers on indian motorcycles <laughs> awesome. tinker is like oh, a tinker and, is a, and a family man yeah yeah and a family yeah, that's big, man. all around yeah, tinker all is around. a big role. way of saying Ch chase that, chase my wife around the world and take care of the kids and there all go. around great fucking guy also the owner of that amazing bike that you guys all have seen on all over the internet the Indian chief that was customized by him I'll put a picture up right here so you guys can see but that's the creator right there so amazing yeah, I love that bike by the way. <laughs> you killed yeah. it dude yeah uh, you killed that bike thank you I appreciate it mm -hmm. just having some fun in my shop um over here we got a man like I said who needs an introduction he's he has an OG a legend the myth the legend <laughs> <laughs> Jeff from Beats and Visionary. Um, so we spent the whole day riding today, guys, on all the Chiefs. It's been an amazing day. We are end of the day off with some beers. We're just chopping it up now. So cheers to that. Sorry, I, finished my, I finished mine. Finish yours. So <laughs> cheers to that. I gotta go to the ice. Um, but an amazing way to uh, finish the day. We're, we're just talking about right now, we're talking about Chief, we're talking about Indian and about everything that Indian's doing right right now. And I think that. It's it's an amazing thing what they have done. They they're bringing a lot of people all together right now. Um, hey, listen, I have a small channel on YouTube. You guys have a huge channel on YouTube. You're a professional not rider. On <laughs> not on YouTube. <laughs> you're a professional rider, and you're all over. And you do everything, and Jack it's like all trades. Yeah. yeah. So you, they're bringing all these people together, and to riding these bikes, I think is an amazing thing. A lot of things that other companies aren't doing. Um, so. I mean, whatever, whatever you guys want to talk about. What do you guys think about the Chiefs so far? I mean, it's, I mean, he's had one the longest of anybody. And, well, you know, unfortunately, you, I haven't had a chance to ride it barely. I was, I was working on it. Yeah, I was just working on it. Actually, today is you know my one day I've actually been able to ride the bike, yeah. and I'm really blown away by it. It's a, it's a fun platform. It's really user friendly on a lot of different levels, from beginner to advanced. Um, I think they're doing great things. I, I'm, I'm glad they finally filled that yeah. middle piece. You know, you had to go from a scout to a bagger, and that's a little tricky for people. But I'm really impressed with what they're doing, and they're 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 putting their heart in it. Yeah, I mean, anything, you know, that to fill that gap. You know, they could have just stuffed something in yeah. there, and they they went to the you know Ola and the crew. They went to the drawing board, and they did amazing stuff with the frame and the it was suspension. Like three years, yeah, three, four I mean, years, almost they were, four years. Yeah. A long time. Probably. And uh, I, I always heard, you know, little chatters. Oh, yeah. you're gonna love it. Oh, you're gonna love it. You know, because I'm a Dyna guy and FXR guy, and uh, now a new soft tail guy. But uh, to see, I'm a soft tail guy. The real and a Dyna guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To see, in all three iterations of it, you know, mini bagger, you know, custom, and then just the bobber one in the middle like they really thought about what they were doing on all three of those mm -hmm. and i don't think they really worried about what pigeonhole they were going to be in and and i think a lot of motorcycle companies are always worried about oh well we got to service this market and yeah. this market and this market i think they really kind of went off in a different direction and i think it, it paid off for indian it with this chief I, I, th I think they did a great job and it was like this is our new product, and this is what we're fucking proud of, and this is it. And so it, like they that, knocked it out the park. That point that you just made. Uh, so when I came to this, uh, looking at the what are they, six total models, right? Mm -hmm. Two for each. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't understand that at first because I was thinking like in my head. It, and of course, they're smarter people than me working in Indian, so I'm sure they thought of this. I was thinking like. You offer a 106, a 111, and a 116. You have the Chief. And then you offer the kits to do whatever you want. And then the Super Chief would be like a mini Chief. But right. now seeing them in action and seeing how they are completely different and serve a yeah. different purpose. The bobber feels like a bobber. Like you're straight, mm -hmm. you're like a lawn chair, like a folded right. lawn chair. Like that's the style. Like when I bobbed out my bolt for the first time, that's right. what I did. You felt stretchy. Just fucking, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I pushed the, the controls forward like seven inches. I got a, a fucking Z bar nice. and I'm just folded over. And that's the style. Took the fender off and I'm like, whatever. Yeah. And that's the same feeling. So now, like after having ridden this and watching everybody like ride, watching your like body position on the Chief mm -hmm. and how you're like knees up 
like kind of aggressive and mm -hmm. and then watching people on uh, what's the guy's name that's like ridden like 900 bikes <laughs> the journalist yeah, the journalist which guy? He has the, two the of them. he has the the shield basically. It's a oh, oh, like a Nolan helmet. Oh yeah, I yeah. know the open face. Shielded. Watching him mob around on the Super Chief Limited, I was like, oh shit! Like yeah. it's the same platform. Yeah, he was right. literally trying to. It's just got a different. Time. Like you want to do like light, different light touring. Right. The seats more comfortable. The floorboards, all that. And so now I'm starting to kind of like pull back on the idea of like it's too saturated. Uh, Triumph does this a lot with their lines. So yeah. They just throw like 30 different models at and you're like, why do they, like, these all exist? And well, now it's very I'm, confusing for the consumer as well. Right, because oh, what, yeah. what do you go for? Now seeing all these things in action, it's actually a pretty light lineup and each one of them makes sense. Yeah. And you're not, you're not like And they're stuck. also different at the same time. Right. Yeah. So, because the bobber that I'm on with the Apes and yeah, the you got the, ones the highest feeling, apes man. that they that they have. I, I just, I'm used to 14 inch bars. Right. I'm used to like I had drag bars. I'm totally different. Right. And mid controls. Yeah, and mid controls. So you're like planted in there. Yeah. Like each one of those has a different feel, and now I can start to see like, okay, if you want to get in the base model, it's like 111. You're not stuck with it. You can get the kit. Yeah. Get the 116, and all of the other things fit. <laughs> like well, I, that's what's great. I Except think for the, the command center, you know, that's the only difference. Well, yeah, I think that's what's really cool about this bike. But you don't give up your ride modes with the command. With no, the, you do not. And that's. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's what's Duh. really cool about the platform is that they embrace the customizing is there food? bikes. Like they're like you know, right. a lot of manufacturers aren't into people customizing bikes. And Agreed. I feel like with Ola's help and the design of the bike, like they're embracing customization. Yeah, I mean, I think all in all, they, they really are with open arms and. I mean, being so heavily planted in the aftermarket, I just really hope that the aftermarket heeds thy word. Yeah. I think that with the other bikes, they were so far yeah. off of I like talking about this. dimensions and things like that with yeah. Indian. I think they've kind of culled that. And now, you know, hopefully, you know, Torch Industries and FXR Division will make a, a T bar. For exactly. This. Yeah. Well, and other brands, you know, the suspension, of course. Yeah. Dude, you T bars. Know, being able to do it. We were talking T -bars about on that bike. We were talking about that earlier. Some ledge of suspension on that well, thing. I mean, like, like, well, with your bike, you know, being able to put the Memphis Shades fairing on. Yeah, there, exactly. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's the, and it's not derivative of Harley Davidson because it's not an HD part. Well, exactly. That, it and was, that's why it was. You know, you used that fairing, and yeah. I, I commend you for that. Well, that's well. well, that, that, that's a Memphis fairing. That's, fairing? That's, no, it's a yeah. Nest fairing. A but nest that fairing. was the whole reason yeah. because I was really specific on doing that bike. I was like, okay. I can't say I'm dressing it up as something else. Right. I can't say I'm putting HD and the parts on. The nest fairing was the nest fairing. That thing was put on Hondas and Triumphs yeah, and shit. It was everything. Exactly. Right. So right. it's a, it's a universal fairing. And the same thing, like I was saying, with Memphis Shades because yeah. they made their own. They're not exactly. repopping. No, they're not repopping. Yo, shout and out to Memphis sure Shades, man. Be the same. There's a couple They'll cats be able putting to them on bolts. Thing straight Memphis up. Shades. Oh yeah, they, they support the channel. It's fucking good. They support my channel. So good stuff. Shout out to Memphis Shades. I got I got one on my wife's bike and she absolutely loves it. I got one on my soft tail. I love it. Yeah. Like, Wait, what, what stuff do you have? I got the crazy one, the 125 CI one, 138 horsepower, 147 foot pounds of torque. Have you? Do you know who Blockhead is? Top, 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 top. Do you know who Blockhead is? No. All right, so you should check out his lowrider. It's the 131. <laughs> it's stupid. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's dummy. <laughs> oh man, it's, the 131s. Like they deliver power, but I mean, this th these bikes already have the same almost the same torque, dude. Uh, out uh, the box, uh, 120. When you, when right you told me to put it in sport Without mode, a cam. and I was like, I was <laughs> like, yeah, exhaust. sure, I'll put yeah, it in yeah. sport mode, and I flicked it over, and then both me and him, you could hear us. We just go, Bleh! it was this instant. I was like, yeah. oh, it wakes up. The, the sound was the different, the feeling was different. Is, is, it's a game changer for this bike. Going from touring yeah. to sport you mode, know? yeah. To like, be able to to have to be able to do that on a lightweight cruiser. Yeah. So all right. So here's the thing. Midweight I, cruiser. On, yeah. on, on my previous videos, I always mention this thing a lot all the time, and that's something that I always wanted Harley Davidson to introduce, right? So why isn't there riding modes yet? You, you see riding modes on sport bikes. Riding modes. But you, 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 you don't really have you, you don't have riding modes on cruisers like that. And what Indian has done here, we're giving you riding modes and the navigation and the digital analog. Like the technology on this bike is just beyond. I it's agree. My so blowing, Harley dude. does a alternating firing order, right? In, in some of theirs to reduce heat. 
rear cylinder deactivation from a guy who sits on 280 degrees of yeah. heat in Atlanta <laughs> traffic, that is game changing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like cruise way. control ride modes. Cruise cylinder. control is optional on soft tail platform. Are they? Yeah, it's an upgrade. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, so, I mean, it's available. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, the, the but command, that's another little right? command center and, and, and ride modes isn't, but I mean, I, I hope to God HD does it soon, which they well, hopefully will. It'll you be know? in three yeah, years. But it's like you, you, you have, <laughs> yeah, but you know what? You, you have these, for example, if you get a special, right? Yeah. You get a road glass or uh, street glass special, you don't have riding modes on a bagger. No. Like you should. Yeah. They, they they just launched the, the RDRS like last year. And that's a game changer. And for that's Harley, a game changer already. You know? But that's like, all right, well, dude, like you need you need riding modes. Yeah. I mean my my newest bagger has RDRS and it's the hill lock. And RDRS all the is other phenomenal. Stuff. When, and, when you're on a hill, yeah. The hill is I mean is Indian amazing. had that, you know, eight months so, before. Yeah, exactly. On the challenger. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The closest competitor to like the Dark Horse, the base model Dark Horse, is what like a, a low rider S. Low rider yeah, S. And me being the owner, I, and I can tell you, I mentioned that in the video before. I've been on a lot of bikes. There's no bike that I can say, hey, I get that same feeling from this bike. Like I got here. It's today. what five hundred dollars more for this than it is the low rider, something like that. No, so this is actually way cheaper. This is sixteen nine nine nine. Really? The low rider S is eighteen and change. Huh. So you're gonna and twenty compared to twenty three. Out the door, probably. Yeah, yeah. tax and everything. Yeah, but it, it's it, a pretty nominal you're, you're, you're price. Get, you're getting difference. a lot more torque in this bike, and a lot it's more. A pretty nominal price difference. Well, and that's what considering. always steered me the Indian. You know, like yeah. what I, I was, you know, I was an HD dude, like oh man, oh, yeah, and buddies ever, and everything. You, you still know? have one of the baddest FXRs I've ever seen oh, in my thanks. life. Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> and, you know, and for me, it's like my motocross career. It was always about hunting for the next best like with BMX you know it's like it's all comparable like when you're competing you're going for who's got the best technology who's got the best frame geometry suspension all these pieces so that's what I approach going into V-Twin like my number one concern is performance I can look beyond you know aesthetics or whatever it may be like whatever the cool kids are into you know I'm, I'm always performance over looks you are cool kid though uh, well I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a cool dad <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe considering the V-Twin market maybe I am a kid you know, no cool dad it, team it, it's one of that <laughs> shit like right on the wire dog you know, it's like, I, I'd rather be the, uh, the, the young guy in V-Twin rather than the old guy in motocross right but anyways but it's like that's why I sought out Indian, and a lot of people don't know this, but like I reached out to them and I went through the I trenches. know the story. Yeah, dude. exactly. I know, the, I know the true story of Kerry Hart and his journey with Indian. Exactly. Cause they didn't I, just throw a bunch of fucking money no, at you absolutely and blah, not. blah, blah, blah. Like, it's, it ain't that way at all. No, because I was blown away by the chassis, the rigidity of it, like how it performs. Like, I'm a performance dude. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think this is great because it's going to make other V Twin companies step up their game, but. You know, Competition these guys are is looking, what makes the best. Exactly. Like and it, it already has. If there was the no Indian Ford versus Chevy, Chevy, we'd be driving 1989 fucking Ford pickup trucks. Right. Exactly. Ford you couriers. Know? Exactly. Which imported. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like. So, from a performance standpoint, the, the geometry, it's, I, I really like the line, the aesthetic of that top frame rail coming mm -hmm. down into the suspension. But is there a benefit to having that in line with that? Well, I, I think really what the big benefit personally is just how rigid all the like the subframe areas i mean yeah. that's what keeps the wobbles from happening that's what like it's just such a rigid and i mean that, that's very why, compact <laughs> yeah too, okay i will say know. because when we were riding up we hit some pretty fucking gnarly bumps yeah a and lot of uh, a couple of them in turns and i just noticed that like it gave me a little shake and then it was right back where it needed to be like well frame flex flooding. is the number one thing that'll get you in trouble yeah. yeah you can throw the best parts at a shitty frame man it's <laughs> story just, of my it's, life yeah it's lipstick on a pig you know it's like <laughs> You can't fix that, no. and and starting from the frame up is, I think, what really got them in the right direction. And because yeah. I mean, the partly with the soft tail as well. Yeah, like you know, yeah. they they changed the whole thing. Should it have been called soft tail? Probably not. Yeah. Well, we can talk about that in a whole. Yeah, other we, we, we can think about that. <laughs> but for a whole I mean, day. for me, and what kind of shines through is the dude on the street that was a diehard Harley guy is warming up because of challenger yeah and because of their sport bike yeah is I uh, is warming up yeah. to I, I was, india I was straight up Harley guy, yeah. dude yeah. and yeah. i think aftermarket's going to follow absolutely and i think that that's that is going to be the key factor is when the aftermarket Catches you know up. barnstorm's already doing a ton of work with yeah, that ness is already ness doing is a ton time. of work yeah. with that like 
there's brands, you know, where you can call. And I mean, even PM has wheels for every single yeah, one. Yeah, S&S is going in deep. S&S yeah. does get good stuff. Even even fringe wheel S&S manufacturers S&S like Jade, cycles? you know, they're doing uh, S&S that does like S&S all the cams, okay. yeah, exhaust, all that stuff. So I think, I mean, it's coming. Oh, it is. I think people just needed to know you know the longevity and how solidified Indian's going to be. And I well, think everybody kept thinking, "Oh, they're going to die." Again. Oh, yeah. I'm like, it's fucking Polaris, dude. I, 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 I hate when people say that. <laughs> I hate when people say, "Oh, but it's Polaris, or it's like a knockoff, or it's like a why wannabe." Is, dude, but why is that anything? Yeah, Polaris like, is exactly. one of the strongest companies in the United States. Exactly. 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 Uh, they I, rule I with that. every single market that they enter. They're the number one. Exactly. So there's a reason that companies like this do the things they do when they procure other brands coming from that world where our only position as a company was to buy out brands right. and and improve them to keep them alive and right. make them profitable so polaris has done a great job and i mean <clears throat> I, i'm gonna tell you right now victory was was i'm sad they, about the high they ball. were <laughs> they were like that magnum was one of the best baggers ever yeah, yeah it looked like a spaceship but it had fucking words. I dude, never it had wrote a 21 inch life, wheel with dual say. discs. It had a fucking upside down fork on it. It had a single pivot, sh- single shock rear end. Like, it was great. Yeah. And to high see ball that kind of go down, highball was factory a lot of people ever. loved the highball. Fucking love that like, bike. And to <laughs> see them close up shop, a lot of people took that as like Polaris's deal. As oh man, you know why 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 why? The but the they shit. focused on Indian, and it's only been giving the people exactly what they want since yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so like There's a lot of comparisons else. to this that people are saying to like the Gunner and shit like that, yeah. like in that same I mean, realm. They didn't they didn't fire anybody. Yeah. It's the same design team. Yeah. They they brought everybody in and was like, let's just let's just focus do on this. one brand. Right, and I yeah. think it made sense. You know, well, it goes back to saturation, right? Right. Yeah. Like you oversaturate, then like, what do you choose? Well, and right. if you're competing against yourself, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> yeah. Right. So, all right. So, with that being said, um, do you think that the chief is like the bike that's gonna open the big doors for Indian? And where do you see it being in the next ten or five, five to ten years? Do you want to take this first? I mean, I'll, I'll <laughs> very, very surfacely saying I think it was a great move because you had the scout, then you had to jump to a bagger. I think, you know, much like they were saying yesterday, it it's the natural with progression. With FTR in the middle as well. Yeah, it's a natural progression to that customer that jumps on board on a, on a scout at 25 to keep them at 45. Yeah. So from a very surface level, I think it was a smart move from that standpoint, but then you can blow the roof open on what you can do for aftermarket and you know and, yeah. and all the rest of it. I and mean, they're just you know they're, they're says the guy with the even though chief. they keep regurgitating <laughs> this crap that they were the first <laughs> motorcycle company. I, I honestly wish Indian would just please stop that. Yeah. <laughs> like just stop already. Like Why? take the nineteen oh one off all the bikes or whatever year. Why do you like, feel that way? Because it's the 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 brand stopped and started and stopped and started. That's and true. They don't own it. Harley's been only. Harley, Harley, Harley. Like, uh, come on, well, man. You forgot about AMF days in the but 70s. But still, it was it's still in the same location, yeah. everything else. Like, please stop. That's the only complaint I have. Yeah. Everything yeah. else, they're killing it. Yeah. And when the aftermarket comes in, in two years, three years, it's four years, it's going to be amazing. We're going to have, you're going to be able to go into an Indian dealership or a Harley dealership, buy a base model bike, and pimp it out any which way you want. Yeah. And... Yeah, we needs. who live in the United States and the rest of the world only are going to benefit from that. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah, more, absolutely. no less. Who cares about what happened then? Man. Exactly. Competition makes greatness. I think them going into the, the middleweight now opens up a big missing chunk that keeps people. The, uh, the biggest issue that we see, like, when we talk to people who watch the videos and stuff, is that, like, I don't have $28,000 to spend on a fucking bagger. I don't have, and I don't want to get a bolt uh, or like the bottom end, like a uh, scout, and be like, okay. And, put the mini bag right of it. And like, yeah, and right. you put the, the little bat wing on it and whatever, and it's like, okay, this will carry me for a little bit, but then I'll always be like kind of wanting more. Like the easiest way to get people into the brand, if you make a good product, one, they'll you build brand loyalty. Yeah, that's what they've been doing. <clears throat> yeah. You build brand loyalty and they make good products. Like ha- having ridden the FTR and like that bike was phenomenal. And you've ridden Scout? Yes, and I've ridden the Scout. I've ridden the Scout. It's amazing. 
I'm, I'm not crazy about the suspension on it. I'm, yeah, but that's easily but, fixed. But that's yeah. easily fixed. That's yeah. easily fixed. But as a platform, that's my complaint right. on every single bike yeah. ever. Oh, exactly. Yeah, you know, but you know what? Yeah. I, I, this I cannot say that I'm carrying about the, around. Around. the suspension on this bike. It's not the best, but it actually, it's better than any like Harley suspension you could say. I'll, I'll say that. I, it's better I suspension I have on my bikes. I'm, I'm with you on that. I think it's I think it's on par with soft tail suspension. The monoshock, yeah. the monoshock yeah, does have that. its benefits in, in the rigidity of it, and like this weird dual shock thing. But I'd say this is much better. I have Olins on on my bolt, mm -hmm. and you got money. It's now, <laughs> <laughs> but dude, the shock's only this long. No, the bolt is like this, and then it's got the the uh, piggyback. The piggyback yeah. So, and even with that, it's I can still feel like the independence. Yeah. And like that's such a thing when you have. But we all know there's no perfect motorcycle, right? Yeah. And that's why we strive. That's why you do. Yeah. What you do. That's, that's what I do. When we, hit those, like, when we hit, the, hit those fucking holes and shit in that shitty road, and I was just sitting there, and like, of course, there was two things I was doing. I was trying to bog down the engine, see if I could. Which you can on. Which you Indian. fucking can. Mm. Like <laughs> I was in you fourth gear. You put that gear. thing two gears down and just do it, and it doesn't. I was chug. in fourth yeah. gear when we were in the mountain road, like where there was like snow yeah. and stuff like that, that and was I was just like. Bram, and it's yeah. gone. And the other thing I was trying to do was I, I was impressed by that actually. Trying yeah, to find yeah, the bottom impressed. of that suspension and we were just I was finding holes and I was just like bam. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And I got a, a I'm sensitive impressed. tush. I, I'm I'm impressed, man. <laughs> yeah. It's good. I'm it's a great it's bike. Good. I'm I'm excited about it. Agreed, I'm man. excited to see what like you said. Of course like, you're you you have one already, man. <laughs> no, I mean but no, I'm excited about yeah. the yeah, next man. five years. Let's eat. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for everyone to uh tuning in thank you for yes, these guys sir. man thank you for your input on everything else no problem, man. tune in for everything else i'm gonna catch you in the next one peace cheers good job man that was awesome